Hey guys, what's up? So today I am doing the same video as I think five, six, five days ago or something, which is how I edit an iMovie. I am doing how I edit an iMovie tips number two. On this video, there's going to be a little bit more hard leveled. Um, so you guys need to follow along hardly. So let's get started. I'll show you guys how to do this because many people haven't found out how to do it. Many people think it's called Ken's Burns, but it's actually not called that. I'm not sure what it's called, but I know how to do it. And many people want to know how to do this. Like, you're going to need this, and then you're just moving it like that. And then, bye. You just flick, flick it away. I don't know. Whatever you want to do with that, then that's how I'm going to show you how to do Alright, so I'm just going to drag on the little logo, not the logo, the little picture. And I'm just going to drag it on to wherever I started saying it. And basically, you're just going to try, this one is the most hardest one because you're going to try to be more precise with this one. So, wherever your hand is at, that's where you're going to start it at, okay? Just before anything. Okay, so my hand was right there. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that little diamond thing with the plus and I'm going to click that. Alright, so every time that you move it, make sure you always move it with the little, um, with your hand. Because if it you don't, then you're not going to know what you're doing. Alright, what I'm also going to show you guys how to do is the little frame. This little frame, like this. That are different colors and can change like this. That's what I'm going to teach you guys how to do. It is a, I think it's the simplest one here. Yeah. Let's do it. Alright, so of course, pickmonkey.com. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to click um, this little green color. By the way, I'm just going to change the cropping tool. You're just going to hit design. You can change the cropping tool to um, 1920 by 1080, I think. Yep. That's the one that works for me. Um, also, the one that could also work is the, um, I think it's 1080 by 720. I think that's one. And but what I'm doing is I'm changing the thickness and I'm changing the um, th the thick thickness from the inside. And now what I'm doing is I'm going to change the color from the outer one. So you're going to change it to whatever color you want. And basically what I'm going to change it to is this dark blue, vampy, dark blue color. And I'm just going to name it dark blue. And that's basically all you're going to do for all of them. And you just have to follow along with what I'm doing. Alright, so now what I'm doing is I'm just going to drag on the pictures. By the way, for light colors, you just want to use a lighter green instead of dark green or lime green. And that's basically all I'm doing. Some of them didn't want to fit in there, so I had to do them all over again. And basically what I did was I changed the little font thingy, the size of it, to 1080 by 720. And as you guys can see, I'm just dragging them up to the movie. And that's what all I'm doing. And then when you just play it all back, it just comes out to be the different colors changing. And you want to make them a, like a small time. You don't want them to be very a very long time going on. So like when you're like putting it on, it like changes colors fast and not slow. But if you want it to change colors slowly, then you guys just make it longer. Make the clip longer. So. That's all I'm doing. Well, the only reason you got the green background is because you're going to click on the little cropping thing and you're going to put green slash blue screen. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put it as fit when you're going to hit the little um, icon of the f beginning of it. You're just going to click it and it's just going to turn it by itself. All right, so many people want to know how I get the, um, the little um, thing that moves like 
it's like a triangle thing. I'll just put it in now. Stop. All right, that's that's kind of thing that people want to know how I do. I don't do it. Um, I'm totally giving credit right now. Um, I don't do it. I download it from this girl's YouTube channel, which I will leave her link down below. And um, if you have Cut, Final Cut Pro, I'm pretty sure you could do it on there. I'm not sure how to do it because I don't got that. I use iMovie. Um, so I'm sorry. Um, so many people just wanted to know that. And if you have an iMac, MacBook, or HP, Sony, um, Toshiba, you could do the same thing. It should, it should look a little bit different. And um, you go on the same website as that. So I am going to show you guys how I download that. And other things like the little triangle. No, not the little. It's like a diamond thing. So I will insert it now. Which I also downloaded from that girl, and um, yeah, let's do it. Alright, so this is my vlogging channel. If you guys want to go subscribe, then I will leave the link down below. So basically what I'm doing, I'm putting Gabriella Mari, and you're just going to search up her name. I will leave her name um, in the description box and her link down below as well. And um, I'm just showing you guys how it looks when you get on there. And I'm just going to click on her profile. And she has a lot of these, actually. I'm going to click on videos. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the little things that I use, which are those. And those are Kaleidoscope. I'm not sure how you do it, like how you say it, but um, you're just going to click on one that you like, which this was one that I liked, but I, I didn't download it because I don't need no more. And basically what you got to do is you're going to go up on the toolbar, I mean not on the toolbar, the search bar, and you're going to put the letters SS just two times. Um, I mean once, just put SS, and then you search it up. And this page should come on um this page does not give you no virus it doesn't nothing it just lets you download videos not illegally videos that are nice and you could download and i didn't click download because i didn't need it but you guys will click download and then and then it will come up like on desktop and now when you like put it on your clip you just put it wherever you say that it should go. And mine was too bright for me, so I just put down the opacity so you guys can actually see my face and not just see that. So as you guys see, the opacity is all the way down. Well, not all the way, halfway down from the bottom. And then here it is. So that's how it should do. You should do it. Alright, so that was everything for my editing tips part two. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. And... Comment down below anything you guys want to see next because I'm running out of ideas. And um, share it. And then click subscribe.